gotten our stimulus check. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be just kind of about like the stimulus checks and if you are not knowing what to do with it or whatever, I'm just gonna kind of talk about what we're doing. Tips I've heard from like Dave Ramsey and things like that about what you should do depending on your situation. First, I wanna apologize, I did miss an upload. I was gonna upload Mara's um, birthday like vlog uh, the other day and it, it, it just didn't get edited, it didn't get done. But we are back on schedule every three days. So if you're new here, make sure you check me out on Instagram and then hit the subscribe button because I, I do upload every three days and if you're interested in my content, budget stuff, debt payoff stuff, motherhood type stuff, pregnancy and that sort of thing. I would love it if you want to stick around and let's go ahead and just get into the video. Initially when there was all this talk about the stimulus checks, I was just kind of like, I'll believe it when I see it. I don't know, like, I just wasn't sure what to think about it. I've never been through something like this before, so I didn't know kind of like how it worked or whatever. And I didn't know if it was just kind of like, trick or kind of, I, I don't know. I, I really didn't know. Yeah, I was just like kind of keeping up with what the IRS was um, updating on their website and trying to only pay attention to that. They had come out with saying when stimulus checks would be start getting sent out. And then all of a sudden, like that day, people were posting on Facebook and all that. They had gotten theirs and they, you know, if they had like money cards that their taxes were put on, they had, those people had gotten their stimulus checks and I was like it's crazy so basically I just went a few days like checking my bank account multiple you know a few times a day just to see if that money ha was actually coming to us or not our income level is under the whatever 150,000 for a married couple to be able to get like the full amount and then we do have two kids so it's 1200 per adult um, if you're under that ca like category and then 500 per child so you can do the math I think I want to say it was, so I think it was the week of the April 13th that they were talking about that's like the week that everything was going to get started, which it actually kind of started the week before, at least what I hear from what people were posting. I just kind of checked a couple times a day to see if it was happening for us or what, what the deal was. And it ended up being Wednesday, I believe like halfway through the day or it might have been later in the evening. I checked our bank account and, it, and the money was in there. It was pending though. So I went ahead and waited till the next day, checked again and it had gone through. So we had gotten our stimulus. Honestly, check. like seeing that money go actually go into our bank account was kind of surreal. I was just kind of like, this is not like, it's just, it's so weird of a situation. Now, I don't know the details on um, people who don't have to file taxes or, uh, somebody who hasn't filed their taxes yet. I'm not really sure. I just know that we file our taxes every year. So moving on from the fact that like, okay, we actually got our stimulus check now. What do we do with it? So for us, we looked at what are our goals and we had talked about it previously. Like, what are we going to do if we do get this money? What, what are we going to use it for? Do you use it as an income? Like if you're not getting an income or you put it back into the economy and that sort of thing just kind of depends on what your situation is and what we decided is we are currently on baby step two so we do have our thousand dollar emergency fund and we're currently paying off debt we're paying off a lot of student loans at like a couple hundred dollars of medical bills and then um, i had to get a vehicle recently because mine totally uh, pooped out wasn't worth fixing so we got a vehicle that's about five thousand dollars and that was just a few months ago and it will be paid off before, pretty much before the summer is, is over, as long as things don't get worse, as in like we're not getting an income or something like that. For us, we are both teachers, we're both teaching online. Our income, thankfully, has not changed. Technically, we could just go about our day-to-day -day life like normal, but we just want to be extra safe. We do have another baby getting ready to come into this world and we have kids already. Our plan right now, and we did this last month as well, if you saw, we used our debt snowball last month and put it into savings. And then this month we're planning to do the same. Any of our debt snowball is going into savings. Basically what our stimulus check is doing is it's going to go into our emergency savings account. 
until our lives go back to normal, I guess. Until things are kind of like cooled down, the virus is not such a big impact, like people aren't having to work from home anymore. Day-to-day -day life kind of goes back to the way it used to be. When that happens, what we will do is we'll take anything extra in our emergency savings account above the $1,000. We have some other savings accounts too for like specific family things, specific kid things and stuff like that. So we do have it technically more than the $1,000 emergency fund, but that's just our actual emergency fund. We'll take anything above the $1,000 and then that will go to our current debt snowball, which is the car. As long as everything goes smoothly from here till the end of you know the virus and when people go back to work, the car will be paid off hopefully by the end of May, beginning of June. That's when we can put that money towards that, but we're just not comfortable putting all that money towards that just in case uh, something worse is to happen. So next I'm gonna kinda go into what maybe some different situations might be and what you sh could do with your stimulus check. So first things first, I am not a financial expert. I This is not like, here, take this advice and just run with it. Clearly just make your own decision. I'm just kind of putting out there what I've seen um, and kind of what like Dave Ramsey has uh, recommended, that sort of thing. First thing is if you have like lost your, your, you lost your job or you just aren't working right now, but you haven't lost it, but you're not making any income, your stimulus check basically should replace your income. And so you should use it for your bills, for your food, for your four walls, bills, food, utilities, that sort of thing. And just make sure that you have the basics covered, not any extra stuff. And that would include, if you're in debt, that includes your minimum payments in that case. Your stimulus, stimulus check shouldn't be something that you just go out and like buy a TV with if you have lost income. Next situation might be more like a situation like I'm in where you are in debt, but you still have your you know, regular income. Um, from there, you kind of have to make a decision whether you're comfortable with the amount of money you have saved or not, or how stable your income is. You just kind of make your own decision like we did. Our income is stable, but we just want to be extra, extra safe. We are holding off and keeping, you know, just throwing money into our emergency savings for now. If you feel super comfortable with your income and you want to go ahead and continue with your baby step two, go ahead and continue with your baby step two. If you are like past baby step two, or you know, you don't have any debt, you don't have things to pay, and you still have your regular income, then you kind of decide what to do. Think about what your goals are. If you want to save the money for something, if you want to give the money for something, don't, don't forget about your own goals and what you think that you should do with, with the money that you, you get. I think it's really, really great if you're in that situation where you can kind of choose like, what do I want to do with this money? I really want to help this company. I really want to help this business or this person or this whatever. That's up to you how you kind of do that, um, but it's a great position to be in. Like I said, this is not like strict financial advice, so just take everything I'm saying and make your own choice. One thing I do wanna mention though is that right now you can get a 14-day free trial with uh, Financial Peace University and there are some resources on there like a budget resource, printable um, budget templates and stuff like that, things that you can download, stories, all kinds of stuff. And you can go through all of the like videos, uh, lessons, I guess is what they're called. There's an app. So just, you do have to put a debit card in there. Um, just make sure it, it'll remind you like seven days before to cancel it if you don't wanna pay the 120 something dollars for like the full year of financial peace. And just spend those 14 days like really looking into um, some of that stuff and, and, and grabbing onto it and remembering it for the remainder of like your financial journey, which is gonna be the rest of your life. So I just thought uh, I had a friend tell me about that and um, I thought that was a great idea. If you haven't checked that out, just check it out. It's 14 days free for real. Just set a reminder. What I did is I set a reminder on my phone for 13 days away to remind me to cancel it um, because I don't wanna pay the 100 and whatever dollars it is right now. Financial Peace University, go in, log in. Um, 
there's a lot of resources. I hope you all are doing well during this time at home. Um, I know that I was doing great and then all of a sudden um, the last week was rough. I am pregnant too, so I don't know if that makes a difference, but um, it was a little rough just like it, you get to start feeling really cooped up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below um, just kind of what you've been doing to pass the time lately. Make sure if you want to stick around to hit the subscribe button and we will see you in three days.